Hey, what's up guys? I'm on the way to Russell now. We're gonna work on the RX-7. I'm gonna have the entire day to work on the car. It's gonna be the first time in years that I've had more than like two, three hours to work on a, on a single car. I'm so stoked. Have a look at this road that I'm heading on. How cool would this be in the middle of the night? Some downhill to go on this road would be fucking amazing. Right, just arrived at Russ's place. Uh, gonna be interesting with the radio playing and copyright. Uh, anyway, uh, he's not here yet, but I'm starting. I'm gonna pull that uh, compensation pipe off. Check my VTA values again. I've got a feeling it might be TPS. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm going to readjust it back to what they were. I'll take a look now. Uh, once that's done, I've bought some new spark plugs. I mean, the ones I had in the car anyway, I did like 50 kilometers of them max. But I've got some brand new ones. I'm going to bomb those in. And then we're going to get cracking on building the downpipe and all of that. Okay, what I've done is I've actually got my settings back, if you take a look. I've got it back to what it used to be before I readjusted it in line with all the documents. There's this Haywire document uh, that shows you how to readjust your TPS and all that stuff. I readjusted the fast idle cam by basically pulling on my throttle, pushing the fast idle cam down like this. See that? It goes in. And then readjusting the little screw there, the idler screw. And now I've got my values back to what they used to be when I thought the car was an issue. Alright boys, we just got Russ's RX-7 and RX-8 out. And mine is about to go up in the lift. We're trying to figure things out. Uh, like I said, I got the TPS uh, VTO voltages back to what they were, where they were apparently the incorrect voltages. I'm going to give it a try. Let's see what happens. Um, I've got my laptop here with the FC Hucker sitting right there on the table underneath the toolkit. And uh, I'm going to change maps if need be. And I'm going to tinker a little bit. I need to get this car running today. I do have some new, uh, whatchamacallits. New spark plugs sitting in the Lexus. I need to fetch these. Oh, Lexus is dirty. It's clean but dirty. Ooh. So, what have I got here? So I've got some sevens and I've got some seven and nines. So, these were bought from Calais. About two years ago, with a brand new. I'm gonna throw those in today, see what happens. Oh, we're about to get started. I just noticed I got a little bit of a leak here on the, on the sump. I just need to tighten that guy. But we're gonna pull out the plugs again. I did this shit yesterday. And now we gotta do it again. Um, a lot easier now, at least I don't have to lie down on the ground. Now I can just do my thing. Anyway, uh, let me get cracking. I'm not going to film this because you saw it in the last video. I'm going to change my plugs, put in the new ones that I got over there, and pull the EGR fuse out, crank the car a couple times so whatever fuel is in here gets out and deflowed the car. Plugs are out. Uh, trailing plugs, you can see, they're quite wet. Or at least this one is. Where's the other one? This guy. Yeah, both quite wet. Something's, something's definitely not right, it did flood. I'm just going to pull my EGR fuse out and crank it a couple times. Get all the shit out. Okay, EGR fuse out. Boys, it's running. 
Holy fuck, that was crazy. Got a bit of uh, burning here. Maybe coolant leak, maybe oil. I don't know, it could be oil seals in the turbo. I'll figure that out later. Even the downpipe is smoking. Oh, I can't believe how quick that was. Having a lift, bringing the car up, changing plugs, new plugs are in. Man, that was fucking amazing. There's smoke coming from here, that's not good. We'll figure it out. I'm actually gonna bring the car up. Let's have a look, see underneath. There's definitely a bit of an oil leak. The question is, where's it coming from? I think I see it. Yeah, here's a leak. Okay, cool. Alright, I know what to do. I need to fix that shit. Coming off my oil return. So weird working from underneath the car now. <laughs> it's like seeing everything upside down. Oh, it is seeing everything upside down for me. Okay, at least I found the oil leak. Oil return's a problem. So nothing much has been happening. I've just been cleaning up a little bit. I've been figuring out that oil leak. So it's 100% coming from, where are we? There's the turbo. Oil return. That guy. It's 100% coming off here. But on the oil return, I didn't put a gasket in between this because I figured that it would just kind of flow directly into the hole. Uh, but no, I'm an idiot. So it's 100% leaking from there. That's the only leak around here as far as I can see, find. So I think we're good. Just taking a quick walk around underneath the car, if you guys want to have a look. You've never actually seen. Like, min, min, min rust. There's like pretty much nothing. It's got some surface rust on... Where did I see it earlier? Oh, here, on the diff. I mean, that's just coming off of my hand. That's the only place. Nowhere else in this car is there any rust. It's super clean. Like I said earlier, dirty but clean. Just like a Lexus. I'm stoked, pretty happy. I mean, this car was, uh, oh, geez, I actually don't remember without having the auction sheet on hand. I think it was a, a 3.5 BC grading. It didn't cost me a huge amount of money compared to what the price is on now. But it was a lot more expensive than the black car. <laughs> Most of you guys know the black car cost me peanuts, absolute peanuts, and it's the most reliable damn freaking car. Anyway, I'm gonna get cracking. I'm still waiting for Russ. Uh, he's gone out, he's got some engagements going on. Um, as soon as he's back, we're gonna do the down pipes. So what I've been doing is just tightening clamps because I, I used to do all the work with jack stands and it was, it was actually pretty difficult to, to get anything done like, the proper way. So just making sure my nuts and bolts are tightened, putting clamps on, doing all that stuff and uh, just going through everything. But so far, so good. I've been doing a lot of posts on Instagram, you guys must just go follow me, it's uh, at NelCalJDM. Lots of posts on the car, what's been going on, a couple flame shots. I mean, you've seen a little bit already in the vlog, but uh, if you want to see stuff live before I edit it and, and upload it to YouTube, go follow me on Instagram. Still waiting on rust to come back, so I'm just mucking around. Put the exhaust on, uh, back box is good, it's fitting nicely. <sighs> Shitty welds, rust tech did not do these welds. This was, well you can look in a, in a previous vlog, I'm not going to name and shame. It was cheap, I don't mind, guys did a quick job for me, I'm not going to complain. So we need a mid pipe, the down pipe, I'm not going to walk underneath it because it's like being held on by that little piece of metal. The down pipe is roughly in the right position. It's as close as I can get to the, the turbo right now with that stupid end on. As you guys can see, not really. Anyway, it's like sort of in the right position. It's gonna be something like that, and then I just need a, a mid pipe made up. 
So this is about a meter length, plus minus. And it's just gonna be straight pipe. I'm not gonna put any silences or anything like that. So we need something from there to there. I'm still waiting on Russ to, to come back to help me out of the down pipe, but I just asked one of his guys if he doesn't mind making me a, a bracket for here. So basically, see my compensation pipe, it's almost touching. See, if there's no bracket, it's like a millimeter off there, which is no good. It needs to be propped up. I'm gonna line it up. So we just finished some of the brackets and uh, I'm busy trimming my silicon pipe for the turbo side. This is what I'm doing. I put in a nice steel pipe in here to make it nice and hard. I've marked where I need to cut and I'm gonna trim it now. Just like I've done on there. It comes out nice and neat. Still messing around with brackets here. Trying to get the intercooler to sit nicely in this position um, and then clearance of the bonnet. So I'm uh, busy cutting these pipes still and getting there, getting there. Alright guys, we sorted here. I finished those brackets. They're just mock-up brackets. Russ is going to make some super awesome brackets. They're going to look cool and they're going to be functional. <sighs> Exhaust-wise, we uh, mocked everything up. Everything's in the right place. Uh, stainless has been measured and we need a cut and we need a weld. But it's home time. So we pushed the RX-8 back here. Russ's RX-7. One of my engine is back in place. And I'm gonna go home, I've gotta go uh, do bedtime, story time, whatever for my daughter. And then we're gonna continue this another day. Guys, thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. Go follow me on Instagram, at NelCalJDM. Don't forget to follow Russell, links in the description and flashing on the screen right now. Thank you so much, we'll see you all in the next video. Cheers. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're trying to make it